The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McRae, Heckma Harrison, and Newey Scruggs. everybody here we go it is time for the players lounge up in here come on in i'm back come it's on a lot up to in talk here. about it's a lot We're to talk about up in here up in yeah. here everybody here get right here no nah, we now? got we got bc back so we in this okay. thing baby okay okay I'm back. I'm back. uh he is barry church uh -huh. back back from you know doing barry church things <laughs> That you need man. Barry Church type Barcelona, man, I'm just Africa. Here, man. Glad, you glad you're here. If uh, you follow Barry on Instagram, you know. All right, it's, it's the, the travel experience. All around the world. <laughs> he is man, all around the world. That was a gift. Boy, got stamps. Oh, that was, that was a, a gift. Boy, got stamps on the Got Heckma Harrison <laughs> in, his... in the house with Fresh J's. He won the Walmart hey. giveaway. That's what he did. <laughs> okay. Danny McCray is yeah, here. What's up, man? What's up? Fresh from Nike Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, I ain't even look out for your boy neither. And, man, I'm oh, sorry. Man, and, like, and man. I'm Louis Scruggs. I don't I'm not even entertained. Hey, man, look out for your boy. No, no, I'm, way, man. Hey, hey. Man, I'm me, sorry. This man takes me two hours after I texted him back. But hold on. <laughs> man, talk about the pictures ain't go through. They didn't. Man, everything oh, else go through. <laughs> everything else happened. Everything else ain't go through, though. Man, it's crazy out here. Church a little upset because he didn't get the Nike. Man, I just uh, oh well. wanted some ones. Oh, well. <laughs> your, your shot con bag and allow you to <laughs> yeah, no. get all you want. Come on now. You probably you, got stock in the uh, different, like, different colorway. Right? You're good. You're good. <laughs> um, never did. It's quite a little liquor. This morning. Because keep them guessing. Because it, it happened. It happened. It's Just official. like I said. Just like I said, I was right all, I was right all year long on Tyron. Huh? Had a good year. He did. Said Oprah. he wasn't coming back. Oh. And not coming back. He's now a member of the New York Jets. Mm. Good for him. Good for him. Um, mm. You guys know I love Tyron. But this was the right move in terms of at some point in time you had to move on. Danny, you've been talking about this for two years. Three. A and <laughs> Go Since yeah. Atlanta. And, uh, three. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't on the show, but I know you was talking I about that train this season, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I'll write off that train yeah. this season because you know some things change. I want to know this: was that really his Twitter? No, no, I got something. No. I, I was wanting it so bad. I was wanting it to be real so I, bad. I, I see one point eight thousand followers. I was like, ain't no way ain't that's no a Tyron Smith. Not at eight. So, no, so. no, but no, listen. Shout out to Tyron. I think, listen, if if he's healthy. He is one of the best left tackles in the game, second team all pro. Um, it's just hard to keep him healthy. This year they figured it out with him going to the New York Jets. You got Aaron Rodgers coming off an injury. Mm -hmm. Depending on how they work with Tyron, then it may be a little, little. You know, you're really not sure. But I do. I hope he stays healthy because I think he deserves to, an opportunity to. Try to win the Super Bowl, and maybe, maybe that's with with A Rod. Who knows? We could do that here. Nigga. I mean, he tried. How, how long was he <laughs> yeah. here? He went through long time. Romo, Matt Castle, and Ooh, <laughs> long list of people. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been it was 27, 28 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Castle yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So he got close, but not. Nah, shout out to Tower, man. Yeah, I, I think sure. he got some decent money as incentive incentive base. But if he's healthy, hell, you know, hey, they got them a star. You better share the tip, man. It's bad. Yeah. I Sam, feel loud, boy. Sam, <laughs> Sam, Talk about I'm pouring a little liquor for yeah. you. Yeah. That bottle yeah. empty in the struggle in the scrub yeah. household. You know he don't man? even drink. Yeah. <laughs> he told pour out some lemonade. He got a bottle. He got a bottle somewhere. <laughs> he got a bottle of something somewhere. You think about <laughs> when they drafted Tyron Smith to replace Flozell Adams, started the right tackle, ended up going to the left. You cannot ask. For more from a top ten draft pick than what you got out of Tyron Smith, yeah, and for true. it to end this way, it rarely ends perfectly. I'm good with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is one of those where you tip your cap to the organization and the player. Everybody did their part, man. Yeah, he lived up to what he needed to be. Uh, the organization used him properly. Give Mike McCarthy credit for figuring out how to use him properly this year. I just think the Jets are going to be in for a real tough time because unless they called Mike McCarthy and Britt Brown about how do you use this player, 
they're going to be in trouble. He can't practice every day, but you got to learn a new offense with the Jets. So they're going to have to have him out there. Left guard got to know you. Quarterback got to know you. That's going to be a tough thing for him. Cold weather, too. Yeah. You think that cold weather will have an Hold effect on, on yeah. those old injuries and bone, all that stuff? You feel all that stuff. As soon as the temperature dropped to about 45, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, man, that high ankle sprain I had six years ago. And he hitting every down. It yeah. ain't like, you know, <laughs> once a, nah, every down he getting yeah. somebody hit. So. And so then the whole thing, how many games do you play? I mean, it, it, you can make up a contract all day long like they did here. It is – you don't – he's going to miss games. Yeah. It, he's going to miss games. And so I just think of it, it – the Cowboys, I think they exited it at the proper time. And unfortunately, with Cowboy fans on social media, anytime somebody leaves the building, it's a catastrophe yeah. in their mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. He got a left tackle. So somebody, and I saw somebody, well, you're going to have a left – a rookie left tackle protecting Dak Prescott. Guys, do you not know who's on your roster? <laughs> yeah. Do you not know oh, what real. they were doing? You got a left tackle in, in Tyler Smith. No, respectfully for, for Tyron Smith. I, I, I say I, I echo what you said, man. They let him go at the right time. Uh, they did it the right way. A lot of times these all end messy. Uh, this one doesn't. The twenty the twenty million dollar contract from the Jets, to me, I, I'm looking at it as incentive based. Mm-hmm. I wonder how much of it he will see while he's there. Um but if he can be a percentage of what he's been here for the Jets, I mean, they've needed that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Last year, uh, just looking at their team and the way their roster was built last year, even if Aaron Rodgers had played through the season, he would have got beat up because oh, of oh, the yeah. way that that offensive line was. And obviously, second team all pro last year for for Tyron. Um, I bet they made the call to McCarthy and Britt Brown to find out, you know, how do you practice this guy? What's the best rhythm to put him into? Because, man, with all the injuries that he's had, you know, come on, guys. He, yeah. had, he had to go through a lot just to get ready on Sunday. And, I, and I'm telling y'all, I knew that it was over when we saw him standing on the sideline. And for, it was. <laughs> it was that was it. Yeah. That was it. That was that was, hey, that was, it. It, was like, it was like death of a dynasty right there. Mm-hmm. Really. You know, it's like, man, he's been good all these years, and you don't want to see a guy go out like that. So, man, kudos to him. Sell him, sell him, baby. It's sell him, sell him, man. Sell him, so, sell him, baby. Sell him, sell him. You know, I give him his flowers to begin with because, you know, like you all said, this guy is, I think, in my opinion, a first team or a first ballot Hall of Famer out there. I mean, he came in, I think, in 2011, mm-hmm. the year after we came in, and from then on, I mean, he's been a consummate pro. You know, he yeah. goes in. And he's not the guy that, you know, I played with him for six years. I might have heard him speak maybe ten times. Like, he's not going to say too much out there. He's the ultimate lead by example guy. You know, follow my lead. You know, if, if you want to do it this way, if you want to be an all-pro, this is how it's done. Yeah. So, I mean, he's the consummate pro out there, and I think he's going to be a first-team, uh, you know, Hall of Famer, all that great stuff. But when it comes to that contract in New York with the New York Jets, was it six and a half, like fully yeah. guaranteed, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then the rest was incentive-based. Incentive yes. yeah. They couldn't make that happen here? Yeah. Now. Once again, <laughs> Yo. what was, what is guaranteed? And that's what you got to find out. Because last year he was basically playing on a, 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 a per game basis. Yeah. Remember Chris Bean was talking to us about that, you know? So I don't know how much of the guarantees they were trying to get. And I also don't know if they felt we got all the juice out this there's no yeah. more juice to squeeze out of this. It squoze. It squoze. Yeah. <laughs> and and also, it's done. <laughs> also knowing what you've had to do the last couple of years, and Danny talked about it. It's been legitimate. Yeah. How many games? How many games you get? Yeah, but I feel like so. So so then, what's all in then? Well, well, well don't well, don't forget this as well. It's, it's sometime if Tyler Smith is going to be your left tackle, yeah. you got to put him out there to play you, left tackle. That, like, you, you know, so you, you can't, you can't like, all of a sudden, Tyron, he wouldn't have retired, and Tyler's in his last year, and you're like, hold on, let's, well, let's see what we got. Exactly. <laughs> like, you got to figure out a way. Progress stopper is what we talked about. I am, I, I am, I am, oh, I'm, this is me. So go ahead, <laughs> all in, all in. Like, you about wait, to hit it. To me, I'm thinking, all right, so we're going to, you know, bump him out the left tackle, can see what he can do. But is that, you know, you really thinking, all right, that, this is going to be our stable. We're going to be able to go to the, this is our best roster to be able to get to the championship. What, what they that's what that, To me, that's what all in is. You, you progress stop. Year? If Tyler, Tyler, for years, they have got, they've seen this kid at guard, and he is Pro Bowl material at guard. 
bump this guy out the left tackle. He's always been the heir apparent. There, there, there couldn't have been any other plan but to make him your left tackle of the future. Now you get an opportunity to do that. You got you still have guys on your roster right now. I don't know Chumi Doga, if they're re-signing him, making him a guard. There's still holes that you have to fill, but I feel better knowing that they're going into the future with Tyler Smith at left tackle. And look, you got some holes that you got to fill. Come on now, we talked yeah, I would, about this. I, I would like to address his all-in comment because the, the, the Tyron Smith thing is the least of our worries for all-in. Thank you. When you talk about what happened during free agency, what's going on with Dak Prescott's contract, mm -hmm. Kendrick <laughs> is Kendrick is the only person you've been able to really get. You signed your, your long snapper. Your long snapper is, the, is your first real <laughs> sign of the free agency. CJ Goodwin. Uh, yeah, CJ Goodwin. CJ Goodwin. This was a week later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a week later. And they owe it to CJ Goodwin. They've been cutting them uh, for the first week for the last two years. But as far as all in, when you talk about, okay, your running backs, back. you got running backs, you got receivers who you got to figure out, you got linebackers, you got defensive linemen, all in. They they way off. I just don't know. What's the, the biggest impact that we've seen? Ty, Ty, Tyron Smith missing games or, a, you know, a wide receiver not being there, a linebacker not being there, you know, guys, you know, maybe not performing the way – I feel like we've seen this team without Tyron Smith. And it's night and day compared to when they do have him. Now, I don't know the logistics about it. You know, the six and a half, all that guaranteed. I don't know if they could have made it work cat-wise. But if they could have, I feel like, man, that's – you know you got you got the formula for him. You know the practice maybe once here, once there, and game ready, he's going to be ready. So you got the he's formula for all pro. Can, can we get off the hope, though? That's, and that's, that's been We've been hoping for eight years. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's for you. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm 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 okay now. Okay. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. I don't want to hope no more. I'm tired of coming on this show because believe me, I left the show many times. Why I hope I right? Be out there on the field looking at. We good? We good? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He in the locker room, he goes straight to the time. Yeah. Yeah. We good? And I see it every time. Because I'm like, I, I really see don't, it I'm thinking, I really don't want to hear it on this show, T. You, you okay? Um, it's it's time. You've got, you dra as Will McClay told me at the AT&T Stadium, we drafted Tyler Smith to be our left tackle. Put him over there. Yeah. Put him over there and get yourself ready to go and then start filling out the rest of this thing. Yeah. So you know you need to get a center because Tyler Biotis is now with Washington. You, so you've got two spots that you know you've got to fill. Go fill the spots. But you've already got one in your left tackle. You can now, in my opinion, you're sitting here in the draft with the ability in the second and third round to look at, at center. You could possibly get yourself – a guard in free agency yeah. ain't gonna be the ain't, you ain't asking for no pro bowler but somebody who can man the spot you can do those things but it's time to move on and where I don't think fans give Mike McCarthy enough credit for you go back to his time at Green Bay because of the way they used the draft with Ted Thompson they develop guys Mike's done a really good job of developing guys. look at Tyler yeah. Smith and remember everybody was killing him coming out of Tulsa they've done a good job go ahead you rip the band-aid yeah. off you move on they went with Tyron Smith about – they got about maybe two years more than they probably should have, the same thing they did with Flozell Adams. Move on. Well, the other thing, the issue that you got with Tyron Smith is, which made it worse, is the person you had backing him up yeah. was never really – capable of being that type of player. Anyway. So so the drop off was so huge versus Tyron Smith to a Tyler Smith. I think it'll be That's a true. lot less obvious that Ty, that Tyron is gone, especially you're going to give him now the whole offseason to That's true. We're all assuming that Tyler Smith is going out the left tackle, but you give him the whole offseason to get in there and do what he needs to do. I think it'll look a lot different than Tyron Smith goes down, "Oh, what the hell are we going to do now?" and then Let's go all the way back. And then to I, I think Playboy. also you limit your playbook. Then when you were asking the question about what happens when he was out, how did it impact you? I, just, I think it just limited your, what you could do offensively because then it, it impacted your running game as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. But just changing, you know, switching gears to the other side of the ball. When we got K Eric Kendricks, and I've said several times on the show that he's one of my favorite linebackers to watch. Um, and, it, and, and and you made a point a, a couple of weeks ago about getting a linebacker can be that that green dot guy. Mm -hmm. And I see Kendricks as being able to do that. And it frees up everybody else, to, and as far as his defense is concerned, whatever Zimmer steps in and does, to be more creative when you have that piece in the middle. We still have pieces missing in this defensive line. I, come on. Mm -hmm. We know it to be mm -hmm. true. I mean, that, and, and you still probably, <clears throat> probably need another linebacker as well. 
I don't know where Overshawn is as far as coming from the ACL sure. injury, but we, we're going to have to use some grace even in that uh, for him at linebacker. So, look, there are still so many holes that are missing and pieces that need to be added, not only through draft, but still through free agency. Let us talk more about these potential moves and missing pieces. Pour that more liquor, Tony Pollard. <laughs> Good luck hey, going back home. A lot to get to. Lots <laughs> to get to right here on the Players Lounge Body by yeah. Tostitos and Barry Church, Heckman Harrison, Danny McCrabb, Newey Scruggs. This is DallasCowboys.com Radio. Yeah. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code COWBOYSVIP. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code COWBOYSVIP. Hi, I'm Danny McRae, Dallas Cowboys alumni player here with Smoothie King. And Smoothie King wants to ask you, what's that sound? That's the sound of us magically transforming our smoothie bowls into two new decadent flavors. Dig into a cool acai or pitaya bowl handcrafted with crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, fresh strawberries, and finished with a velvety chocolate hazelnut drizzle. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or any time you want to munch. And that's the sound of you making them disappear. Smoothie Bowls, now in two new decadent flavors. Only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection. Featuring hoodies, crews, t-shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. There is no I in Dallas. There is no I in Hart either. No I in Blue Star or in Lone Star for that matter. And there's no I in how about them Cowboys? Smirnoff knows there's no I in football. Football is a we thing, an experience that is best enjoyed together. With good drinks and good folks, home or away, we rally together, we cry together, and we always rally cry together because there's definitely no I in Cowboys fans. Smirnoff, we do game days. Please drink responsibly. Back to the Players' Lounge. Country Music's Party of the Year is back like never before. The Academy of Country Music Awards returns to the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, May 16th. See the biggest stars in country music and watch unforgettable live performances. Tickets are available now at SeatGeek.com. Thank you, Heckma Harrison. Your play is launched brought to you by Tostitos. Got Barry Church. Got Danny McCray. I'm Louis Scruggs. All right. Um, Tyron Smith gone. We, we've discussed that. Tony Sounds. Pollard has exited the building. Mm. That's your starting running back who played on a $10 million franchise tag. He's now in Tennessee. They've given him uh, $8 million a year for three years. I think we were all surprised at that number. God. Shall I go first? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, listen, they, listen. I, I think maybe Tennessee came in. They must have talked to some folks to talk to Tony, and Tony must have told them, hey, man, I wasn't 100% healthy all last season. And based off the film that you saw last year, if I'm just a little bit better, then maybe I'm maybe I'm worth what you what you're trying to pay for. Um, but I, I I would assume they have a very very specific plan for Tony Pollard because you have to one two punch. Um, they have to have seen what we've all seen about not being able to be the guy who can get who needs to get 20 uh, yeah. carries per game. But at the end of the day, I'm a former player, so happy for Tony Pollard. Man, got 10 go. last year yeah. and got him an extra 24, that 34 million for a, a fourth-round draft pick. Mm. So what? shout out to him. Well, that's going right? to buy a lot of brisket. Mm. That's <laughs> a lot of brisket. Open up more locations. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're franchising. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 whiskey, baby. No, yeah. this is um, – <laughs> Uh, look, in, in the situation with Tony Pollard, we came off of, I mean, basically saw this guy snap his leg in half in a playoff game, and he came back from that and, you know, still rushed for 1,000 yards, which means nothing these days because of the 17-game schedule. Um, 
But, man, I wish him the best. I, I think Tennessee has a guy that's going to be that change of pace. Now, when your change of pace guy loses a step, which we saw last season, it kind of minimizes the ability that he has. Tennessee already has a guy in their stable that kind of pushed Derrick Henry out yeah, in Tennessee's eyes. So, seeing those two guys work together. And also, I want to see more from Tony Pollard as a wide receiver also. I thought that he was a viable weapon when he had the ball out in the flat and you could pass the ball and allow him to create on his own. But – you know, look, he got broke off. One of the best in the league, huh? Stop it. <laughs> okay. I made that mistake. <laughs> Who's best in the league, huh? Best in the league, You won't let me live that day. He can run, he can throw. Look, up there no. with the, with the best of the best of them. You know what? <laughs> you know, I never caught. No, I didn't. Man, I don't you do that. Don't you do that. Call that man 99 folk. Man. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I made that mistake. No, I, happy for TP, man. He, he went out there and did his thing. And what I think may have happened, I don't know, but I, he could have had a bidding war. I mean, we see it happen all the time with, with Hitchens. Went to mm -hmm. Kansas City. Yeah. It was between Dallas and, and the bidding war, and the money just went up and up and up. And that could have happened with TP. Um, but like you said, I think Tennessee could have – an explosive offense. If if the quarterback can get things together, you got Hopkins on the outside, Ridley from Jacksonville on the outside, Tony Pollard, and hopefully they use him kind of like a Christian McCaffrey, like you just said, catching the ball out of the backfield as well. So good to see, good to see money from uh from Tony Pollard going out there and doing his thing, man. AFC South. What do we know about the first week of free agency? We know the first week of the first days, it's crazy money spent. It just is by most people. Every year. Except because for you've got teams who <laughs> you've got teams who have money. <laughs> gotta have money. Gotta have that brain. We got a whole lot of money. Let's go spend it. So they, they went out there and they we saw running backs who did not get paid last year go get overpaid. People who thought Josh Jacobs no, had to play on a franchise tag, Green Bay goes ahead and give him a multi year deal. So, hey, fine. Happy for Tony Pollard. I don't have an issue with him going because when I saw the eight, I'm like, is Tony Pollard an $8 million a year running back? We didn't see that here. $8 million a year, and you talk about the who else is with him? $8 million for a guy who's not the guy? I mean, if I'm going to pay you $8 million, I want you to be the, the guy. guy yeah. Saquon, three down back. That's what I'm looking for from you. Josh Jacobs, three down back. So good luck to Tony. I'm happy he gets to go home. I'm not mad at the player. But to me, this is just what free agency is. Now, a Cowboy fan is upset because Derrick Henry went out there and said, Cowboys never called me. Mm. I'm Mm. Come on now, we talked about that a little bit last week and how much of this offensive line philosophy would have had to change with Derrick Henry. It, it would have. They should have called him. At least just they, to see. They kicked the tires. Yeah, they kicked the tires. Why was, so, okay. okay. So, so, this, why, why we, why, do, do, don't you hate when people come up lying to you? Hey, man. Hey, Barry, are you interested? At this way low discount rate? Yeah, at least see. Hey, at least okay. don't You don't shop at Ross, and that's where the Cowboys <laughs> at right now. He got on the Esperanza right, right. now. Dollar the Tree. Butter. They looking the for a Dollar Esperanza. Tree running back. I don't, I don't even know butter. who Esperanza is. The butter. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even look for a Dollar Tree running back. <laughs> You don't shoot, okay? <laughs> they could have called them. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. They call the anybody. Do you want to be insulted? Don't you hate when people insult you? Man, look. Hmm? It depends on how much they insult me with. He's here in the off season. What if he's like, you know what? I'm going to take yeah, that. I'm on my way. Okay. You okay. So, oh, so you that oh. coach from Lamar in the portal trying to get somebody from LSU. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey want to come on down yeah, here? No. He he insulted. Your right. family lives facilities. Facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right like, Lamar, like Lamar was going to call Joe Burrow from Ohio State, Lamar University. So, right? you just right. say right. They, so they should have called nobody. I'm just telling you, they know they didn't have any money for him. And, but most often, I said about this on the podcast last week, hey, coach, don't use 20. He don't use a guy. You need 22 carries from this guy if you want to get the most out of him. Baltimore is the fit. If I'm him, I'm glad the they Cowboys didn't call. They ran the ball six times. <laughs> That was in a that playoff game. That won't happen again. They ran the ball six times. They won't happen again. Every year, they won't happen again. They fixed that. They ran the ball six times. That won't happen again. Call the guy. Just just to show him some love, just in case something happened. I, I, who knows, man? Who knows? I, at least I hate call, people do Did that. he call anybody? Did we call any other running back? Because I think they all landed in great places that made each one of those teams better. I think all of them did. I think even Tony Pollard. I think. The team that he's on now is better with having them because they got a one-two I mean, punch. I, look, Saquon in, in Philly, that, I, great fit, great fit, and you're not dead to me. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just saying. Hey, <laughs> talk. Oh wait, great wait, fit. wait. I'm sorry. Sidebar. Another old school, uh, old school guy getting out here. Don't know how to talk about the. This is why the current players can't stand when they hear anything from a former player because a guy like Tiki Barber go go out here. 
talking like he playing uh, back in remember the Titan days. Yeah, Look this ain't that game, cheese, bro. Right? You on, dead man. to me. You turned your back on the on the city. What he this he man? Tra- we got yeah, paid tra- twelve million dollars. Tiki been saying bad stuff since he left the league, and Bat Mount Eli didn't want a Super Bowl without him. He's just another guy, just another old uh, last, another old head. Now, I'm, I'm 36. I feel like one of the old heads. Yeah. Yeah. You, watch when you <laughs> when you start talking like that. I'm gonna remind you. I ain't talking I'm like, like wow, that. Wow, look at this. That's some of the back on the song. Daniel Jones is better than Dak Prescott last offseason. He did. You know? He did. Uh, somebody else is out did. there I on that game. I can't say too much. I can't say too much. You knew it was coming. Bad. You started shaking your head before. Right. You knew it was coming. I was wrong. I was wrong. Well, Tiki just talking. I don't listen to what Tiki Barber has to say. It's just unfortunate. But look, he landed in a spot where you know Philly is going to definitely use him the way that obviously New York could never use him. I don't know about that. Really? You don't think Philly finna run that time? You think the offensive, the, the offensive coordinator hasn't shown me that he likes to run the ball like that? He in Philly now. Yeah, yeah. Once, I, I, and? I, I mean, look, if you if you want to have some success in the in, in the city of brotherly love, you better run the ball because that's that's their identity. You want that's this man they, to do something he doesn't hold do? Hold on. See, cause th- see, that's the argument I don't like, Church, because mm-hmm. you wasn't here last week. Mm-hmm. If we had a gotten Derrick Henry, do you think we'd have ran the ball 20 times a game? Do you think he would have got 20 touches a game? Yeah, yeah. No least. matter what Coach McCarthy used to At do least. or don't do, I think when you get a player like that, you say, because we all know, okay, he's a volume guy. Yeah. All right? You know, when you got into the situations in those big-time games that you ended up losing is because you couldn't figure out a way to hold on to the ball or stop the bleed. Tony Pollard was getting 17 carries in some games. I, I can see t- uh, Derrick Henry getting three more. And then he would have been even more of an impact for you in the red zone, which – because we were trying to go with Dalvin Cook. Cook. <laughs> to be the, yeah, to be fair. To, to, be, go, to be fair. To be fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lee, that, that door is still open. Huh? That door is still he went open. to Baltimore, didn't he? He, he did. Ball, he went to Baltimore. Man. They ran the ball six times. They well, got I'm him saying, on the squad. I'm saying now. I'm saying now. <laughs> no, I'm talking about last year. It was all, yeah. yeah. Once they again, ran the ball six that, times. That won't happen again. <laughs> he went to New York, <laughs> couldn't make it, and then he couldn't touch the ball in the playoffs. <laughs> I think he's, uh, now the, to... he's now on that, that clearance rack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's, clearance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Ross. Yeah, yeah. Ross. <laughs> clearance rack at Ross. Hey, you go get it. Find your <laughs> socks. There might be some food. You've never been there. Don't <laughs> worry about it. I'll just tell you about it. I'm taking a virtual tour. <laughs> so so oh. he's now he's now truly and I he's never been a better no, option. Never been. <laughs> Dalvin Cook has never been a better option. He's never been a guy you bring right in camp yeah, yeah. at this point. Go grab James Cook, brother. Your brother available. That's what killed his stock. No, his brother, brother killed was his like, stock. <laughs> Who's your brother's name? <laughs> I mean, this, this you is, related to the. This is, this is where we're at. With this is over. Man, what's his, oh, this, this, man. this is where we are at. Man, here. Hate to see uh, it. I'm, 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 I'm not dying. I'm over Derrick Henry because I just don't believe that they were going to use the guy. Mm. So, mm-hmm. um, that, that's just me. Uh, Dan, Dan Quinn went and got somebody else, so uh, he took Noah Igbenogamy, so he left. So that's that's four guys here. Dan Quinn got a lot of money to play with over there. Yeah, you know, he's got he a lot. Some pieces. And I don't and I don't blame him. I mean, the the Biotis deal. It, that's dumb. It, look, that's dumb. he needed a center. He he has plenty of experience. He knows Biotis. I mean, come on now. Ten look, million. Look, I'm gonna dollars. say. Look, we never appreciated the guy. The guy a goes year. Yes. Yes. Tyler Biotis went and got paid. First week money is wild money. What Dorrance get over there? Yeah, yeah. Dorrance got paid too. Yeah, forty five, didn't he? So you go pay. Uh, this is just all right. Tyler Biotis. First off, good for you got your ten million. But I'm not paying ten million for a guy that I saw Con- Connor Williams went down there to Miami and, and became a better center than than Biotis. Oh, he's you're only guy- saying that because he's the great under. When Connor Williams was here, knew you didn't like Connor Williams. It's a guard. I didn't know the guy could play center. So somewhere along the way, there was a misevaluation mm. Mm. because the guy can play center. Now they tried him there a little bit, but clearly, he <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. You got opportunities, and and and, and the fi- the fight the fired offensive line coach that you fired clearly he didn't see it, but they figured it out how to use the player properly. But he didn't cost him ten million dollars. He's a free money. agent also, so it's also hurt. Yeah, okay. So I just said. he hurt, but I, I just I just would not. And this is just me. Some of these guys who got paid, I look at the money, and I know the teams were desperate. They had the cash, and they paid him. I just would not pay him $10 million. I don't think they were ever bringing it back, especially yeah. at a $10 million rate. No, I, they wouldn't. I would go to the draft million, yeah, because the Cowboys, happen. I give them credit. They have shown us the ability. They know how to draft that center spot. Mm. 
Yeah. Man, we got a lot of drafting to do. I tell you that because every time we talk Try about a whole week, yeah. <laughs> hey, Dante Fowler, <laughs> out of here, he man. Yeah. You finna have to, to the draft commands. your butt off this year if, so, if if things stay the way they are, which we we don't expect just, that they will. Is that rebuild. <laughs> this no. is the league. This is the league. Rebuild, you win twelve yeah? games, three years in a row. Ooh. People's contracts are up. It's a problem. When we come back here, uh, we we had talked about the defensive line, and and we 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 should dive into uh, Eric Kendricks, who was coming here as a linebacker who. Uh, knows Mike Zimmer's system. Let's dive into that next right here. Players Lounge on, brought to you by Tostitos on DallasCowboys.com. To kick off the 2023 NFL season, Hugo Boss teamed up with the NFL and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection featuring hoodies, crews, t-shirts, polos, joggers, and more. The bold, unique apparel of the Boss NFL collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, at hugoboss.com, and at Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag be your own boss. Hi, I'm Danny McCray, Dallas Cowboys alumni player here with Smoothie King. And Smoothie King wants to ask you, what's that sound? That's the sound of us magically transforming our smoothie bowls into two new decadent flavors. Dig into a cool acai or pitaya bowl, handcrafted with crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, fresh strawberries, and finished with a velvety chocolate hazelnut drizzle. Perfect for breakfast, lunch, or any time you want a munch. And that's the sound of you making them disappear. Smoothie Bowls, now in two new decadent flavors. Only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at Get Jack Black dot com slash cowboys with the code cowboys vip that's get jackblack.com slash cowboys with the code cowboys vip i'm dak prescott quarterback of the dallas cowboys and they snap at the prescott who looks right it's not there he escapes left he'll run for a first down just like football when it comes to crypto it's important to have a team you can trust with blockchain.com i know i'm in good hands since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Back to the Players' Lounge. Register now for the 2024 Dallas Cowboy Youth Camp presented by Invisalign. Athletes of all skill levels at ages 6 to 16 are invited to learn from the best this summer at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco. Football camps are led by former NFL players and dance camps are taught by current Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Registered before May 17th to save $25. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash camps. You said the price going up at the May 17th? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. May that's 18th, you'd be paying an extra 25 yeah. So go on up in that. So you ain't got no money in your cap. <laughs> you better sign up before uh, before the 17th. Mm. Players Lounge, it's brought to you by Tostitos. Man. Barry Church's return. We got Heckman Harris. We got Danny McCray, our new Scruggs. So Cowboy fans are frustrated across the league, though. There's more frustration. There's people looking around here saying, wow, people, people are mad about Trey Lance. Being traded for a fourth round pick and saying, "Well, wait a minute, Justin <laughs> Fields got a six. <laughs> Mac Jones is traded for low cash. I mean, low draft Straight pick. out of low cash. And <laughs> can I defend the organization from this standpoint? And this, this is it. It's about timing. Before the season, Justin Fields would not have been available for a six round pick before the season. Mm -mm. Mac Jones either. Then they played. Then everybody's like, ooh." Right, and so now, so what, right. what happened with, with Trey Lance is it was before the season. That's that's what it was, and so I'm not mad at the Cowboys about the fourth round pick. You took a shot at it, and let's see where it goes. And right now, the, your quarterback has not gotten a new deal, so see what happens. Trey Lance needs to be getting a whole lot of snaps this offseason. In his preseason, need to be Trey Lance show. We need to see what we got there. But people, I just think people are taking some cheap shots at the Cowboys because this is not a cheap shot time. But to try, we, 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 paid, we paid a four. Those guys got a six. How would you know? Those guys would not have been available for that. Cooper was still on our roster? Thank you. Yes. Well, like, there's, no, there's, no, there's no way that if there is a dire situation that I'm putting Trey Lance in over Cooper Rush. 
Like, because we've seen him do it on the field in real game time situations when the pressure <laughs> was on and you needed to get wins. The film is there. And usually these guys go off film. The scouts go off film. Hey, have we seen the guy be able to make the throws and, and control the game and control the line of scrimmage? And he was able to do it. So I think, like you said, he does need to get a lot of reps, but I don't care how many reps he gets. He still, to me, would not be starting over Cooper Rush unless you're really just trying to force it because you put yourself in a position to where you did give up a fourth. Now you have to see what it's worth. But you, got, you have got to, in my opinion, see what he has. That's why you got to develop him. I think – Mike McCarthy has done an outstanding job developing Cooper Rush. I mean, there was a point in time when we were wondering about Cooper Rush versus Garrett Gilbert. <laughs> Shout out to Double G, man. The, the, the hey, Nucci. The Nucci, man. It is that. So, it so, had a lot of that. So we Double saw, G, baby. We saw what Mike McCarthy did then. From what we are told, we don't really get to see it a whole lot, but from what we're told, Trey Lance has a higher skill set than Cooper Rush. You're paying this head coach a lot of money. You're paying the quarterback coach, Scott Tolzien. Let's see if you can develop a guy who was taken number three in the draft. And if he can become a good player, then you got something. Mike McCarthy once developed a dude named Aaron Rodgers. He sat on the bench. I ain't saying anything about Oh, thank you for saying that. <laughs> I ain't thank you. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. But what yeah. I'm saying is he's shown you – he can take yeah. a player and develop him from an Aaron Rodgers, who's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, to a Cooper Rush, to a guy who they cut several times and we didn't even think was going to make the team, to being a legitimate backup quarterback that could win you four games. I do believe that's something you should invest in. The most popular guy in Dallas is the second string quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Because you don't get to see him play, and you hope that he's going to get in <laughs> and give you some magic that the first guy, that your starter, isn't giving you. And I've already seen enough, all right? Nobody wanted to see Cooper Rush for another five games. We made it through, fingers crossed. He went 4-1. and one. Please get out of that. Come on back, all right? We've all, Trey Lance, whatever it was, development. My whole thing from the beginning was we developed this guy, use him as a piece draft night this year, and we start to try and make some trades here. We already have our guy. The elephant in the room is the fact that we haven't been able to get Dax, Dax deal restructured. We can talk about Trey Lance all we want to, but if we ever see him on the field this year, it's because disaster struck. That's the same reason we saw Cooper Rush. So, uh, getting Dak deal done is paramount to being able to re-sign C.D. Lamb, being able to get some of these other guys in our defensive secondary done, bringing in maybe a defensive lineman that we're talking about because we have those holes. Talking about Trey Lance, to me, look, man, I, I turned 50 on Thursday. Man, I need that. <laughs> I need that. I'm going to need that win. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> I'm going to need that. Because it's a way – I mean, come on, man. We, we need – we need to restructure Dak's deal. Okay, that's fine. Even if you restructure Dak and you get him back in here, what have we seen across this league, especially with number four? You gotta have a backup ready to go. Who has had a backup come in and been successful? There's a drop off from every time you go from your first guy to your second guy. You don't want to have this guy play for a whole season. Well, that's fine. But what we saw with Cooper Rush is you better have somebody who can come in here and win you some games. And hey, Cooper Rush, I trust. Yeah, I, 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 and it's nothing against Trey Lance. We just haven't seen him be able to do it. And I'm sitting here on a one year deal, and I like I got to put all my chips in on a certain guy. If something does happen, I'm putting it on the guy who I've seen go out there and win me football games. Versus like, let's go see what <laughs> Trey Lance got. I'm just I'm too nervous to do it. But I, I know you have to is, as an yes, organization because is, you did invest. OTAs. That four I need to yeah. see. I need to see 15 out here getting it done. Yeah. Training camp. I need to see a whole lot of reps preseason, and then see what happens. McCarthy came from that Green Bay system where they kept taking guys, and I was like, really? Aaron Rodgers, boom. And McCarthy had him in, in New Orleans where, where he goes from being a backup quarterback in Green Bay to being a starter who wins New Orleans' their first ever playoff game. Matt Hasselback goes from being, was it, fifth or sixth round yeah. pick in, in Green Bay to being a, a starting quarterback in a Super Bowl. That's the, a great uh, point. So the ability for what he's come from and what I've seen him do here, I want to see what he can do with Trey Lance. What the Cowboys saved themselves from, and I don't sound like I'm being a homer guy, but if you didn't take Trey Lance, you didn't needed to spend this offseason looking forward to another quarterback, be it draft or you 
you know, signing one, trading for a Kenny Pickett or 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 a, a, um, a Justin Fields. You'd have needed to have done that mm-hmm. because they are going to 18 games. And we know these quarterbacks, look how many great teams with great quarterbacks had to go to Easton Sticks out there when your boy Justin Herbert goes down. Burrow. Joe Burrow yeah. went down this year. Aaron Jets. Rodgers went down. You need to be developing people. And, yes, no, you've got right. Cooper Rush, and Cooper Rush has earned the right to get out here and go play, but you've also got someone else. Let's see what you got. Because if if the guy shows you something, maybe you can trade him. If Dak gets hurt again, let's see where it goes. I just don't think this is bad. This, to me, is this isn't bad business. No, it, it isn't. And I like the point that you just made about Aaron Rodgers. Also, the, the, the thing that needs to be noted is who he was sitting behind and how long he got an opportunity to sit behind that guy and learn. And, and I'm with you on the Cooper Rush stamp. Hey, like Cooper Rush has come in and showed you. He played some clutch minutes and got you some quality wins out of the season. I'm not saying that you don't need a quality second round – I mean, a, a second guy. I just – I'm, I'm looking at Trey Lance from a he's he's our third quarterback, period. And and once again, this this to me, we need to see a major jump from yeah. this guy, um, the Terrence Steele jump. We need to see uh, the Jalen Tolbert jump. We need to see this. I mean, if it's two guys that I'm looking at, man, you really need to br- you need to be better next year. Uh, it's Mozzie Smith. Oh, I about thought you to lead him off. I'm he gonna say he is the top. And, and 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 Trey Lance of of hey you there. Oh, by the way, there's an opportunity for you. That's I mean these guys should be in here you know working this thing all like crazy like there is a true opportunity for you. they want you to they're but trying thing, to give you a hey job. one thing I know about you Nui, if Trey Lance throws a ball and hits a sideline reporter in the head you're gonna go ooh <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be you that's gonna come right out and say okay ooh, <laughs> that is <brother>. ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We do but, know that, so it's but, all good. But, but we need to see, you know. <laughs> we, we we need to see, and um, this this thing's going eighteen games. They already t- they, they when they when they when they went to seventeen, we knew they were going eighteen. Across Where's the stop? Twenty. <laughs> where's, 20 the, where's the stop? Five. It's like college football. They, add, they add, seem add, like they end games at a quicker pace. Every, than it to, took them to it's, get to seventeen. Much, as much money as people are willing to pay, but but we just know we go, the Raiders. I mean, we just know you have to get out here and have another quarterback. And, and you, you know, this day and age, you you probably need three. Look how many t- the Cleveland. Look how many guys they went through. Yeah, Raiders went through a bunch of guys. You, I mean, with the especially with the way they're doing concussions now, because you've seen um, Houston. Um, I didn't Stroud, my, CJ Stroud, Stroud, yeah. Stroud have to miss games. Tua, and mm-hmm. uh, you, you just see that stuff continue to happen. So yeah, you, yeah, you. I mean, you, you, you gotta do have the backup. You, you're not you're not going to be off base by having, you know, two good backups and. Personally, I'm surprised Cooper Rush came back because I thought there would be smart teams out there that would pay and go mm-hmm. get a Cooper Rush instead of the Raiders out here giving Jimmy Garoppolo all that money and the Saints giving Derek Carr all that money. You could have went out there and got Cooper Rush and got got you could have got the same production out there for a lot less money. But this is the NFL. Jimmy G back on somebody roster. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I thought yes. Kirk Cousins yeah. was the guy. But no, 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 in the bushes. no, no, right there. Like, hey, like, <laughs> yes. But you taking all the attention off Jimmy G because Kirk Cousins oh, went out there to Atlanta and got the money. But Jimmy G sitting there like, oh, I got him again. Got to break that. You know, you keep on doing it. You know who Jimmy. G took who Spotty took Carson Wentz. <laughs> he still the guy. Oh, man. Right, Carson, but, Carson, I, mean, I ain't seen somebody set an organization back like Carson Wentz did the uh, Colts. <laughs> Goodness, and the uh, I mean the Eagles, the Colts, the uh, Commanders. <laughs> this oh, man, he everywhere he go, he just Eagles. leave a stench. And every, you know, so, so <laughs> <laughs> Indy and the command, that's your, that's your own fault. That's your own fault. You saw right. what it was, okay? Right. Well, I don't know why everybody out there believing Dan Orlovsky that somehow <laughs> Carson Wentz was going to turn somebody around, but that's your own fault for not using common sense mm-hmm. here. But uh, the, the Cowboys, um, Eric Kendrick's linebacker, we good with this? No, we need some more. I think, yeah, we definitely, of course. Yeah, we I mean, definitely need some more. You can't be done, but, but you got one. That's a, good, that's a good pick. I think he's a three-down linebacker. He can, he, can, he can cover. He can support in the run system. And he's a green dot guy, smart guy, understands defenses. So he's, he could be your one piece, but you, you got to have more. I mean, I know we got Clark sitting there, you know, over Sean. Well, hopefully he can back for his injury. But we've all seen you know, those ACLs that, that year after that. It's kind of tough. But I wouldn't be surprised if they get a linebacker pretty early in the, in the draft this year. I just want to know, you know, Marquise Bell making his transition out from linebacker to safety, how that's going to look for him. Mm. Because that's, you know, another skill set. We've we've taken guys and used them as tweeners over the years. I mean, look no further than my guy. What's can't think of his name now. Shouldn't even went there. Uh, 
Keanu linebacker. Neal? No, the from Iowa that we drafted. Can't think of his name. Uh, Mark. Um, anyway, uh, number ninety-seven, number ninety-nine, whatever his number is. Linebacker. No, oh, defensive man. lineman. We, he oh, was a defensive end. Chauncey Golson. Oh, that's my line. Sorry. I was talking about is guy, <laughs> guys being tweeners that we've moved from being a defensive end, now making him a defensive tackle. We did the same thing with Marquise Bell, make, taking him from safety and moving him to linebacker. I think now the, the idea yeah, is man. to move him back to safety. I don't know if you re-sign Curse, and so Curse is still out there. But, you know, again, you, if you don't re-sign him, then I think the heir apparent to that is Wanye Thomas or Marquise yeah. Bell. So, again, I want to know how that impacts him as well. But being able to have Eric Kendricks kind of hold down the middle, we've needed it. Uh, we've needed it, and especially with my, what, how we're going to use Michael Parsons. I don't see Coach Zimmer trying to use him as an off-ball linebacker. I just don't. So you saying you see Mar- Marquise Bell finna be playing special teams? Yeah, because I mean he's gonna move back to be a backup safety. I don't see Zimmer running three safeties, um, so I'm okay with the uh, with the Kendricks uh, move. Like we need linebackers, yeah. we need depth at linebackers, mm-hmm. and I think Damone Clark will be better off with having a guy who's a veteran leader showing him. But, hey, man, this is what you're doing wrong. Like, we need you to be able to do X and then have that example of being able to do it. That's the importance of having a guy like Sean Lee and then now yeah. Kendrick's of like, hey, man, this defensive coordinator knows me. He trusts me. And then that means you can trust what I'm telling you to do because I've been in the system. So I like to move. You need more depth, depth at the uh, position. But I got faith that Overshawn to come back and be some type of midseason, uh, okay. be back to where he can, can help us. Damone Clark and then Kendrick's, I think you're looking okay. It's just the depth that it, that, that worries me. Uh, shout out to Leighton Van Der Esch on um, an excellent uh, career. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Cowboys had to uh, let him go. Um, for a guy who came in the league, he had the, they, they knew he had the neck issue. Um, guy got himself a pension, had some good years, got to make a Pro Bowl. Oh, yeah. Good, good for Leighton Van Der Esch. I wish him well. Absolutely. Uh, especially with the new baby daughter. So, you know. Oh, congratulations. He better go straight to uh, NFL disability, too. Yeah. <laughs> get, he, get your, get, yeah, get, get all of that. Let's go get, get all your all stuff. Of that, because man. he did tough it out. And that's that's the example of like, man, I put it out there for the team and I want to make sure that I get took every chance that I could to do what I love. So, shout out to him. Um, and, you know. That lifetime. Yeah. He'll, he'll that get lifetime. that lifetime. He deserves it. He when you, for sure. you put your for body sure. on the line out here in the NFL, I think they do a fairly, fairly good job mm-hmm. of taking, ter- taking care of guys who've been through stuff like that so shout out to late vendor that tip to him j lou we, we brought j lou back Sign him yeah, what, what does that say about gilly Uh-oh. i think gilly up out of here once again it, it, it's it's what what's your price yeah, yeah. I mean, keep in mind you know right? this is not, not not trying to be snarky at all but at the end of the day he was the oldest starting corner in the league last year this is a young man's game yeah. it's a young man's game period but then at that position it's even younger man's game uh, good luck to Michael Gallup. He's going to get out here, and, and Michael Gallup's going to go visit some teams, and somebody's going to sign Michael Gallup and and to a fair contract, and, and and good luck to them. I think Michael Gallup can help someone. I mean, to me, Michael Gallup is a guy to be perfect, and I don't think he's going to go there. But like Kansas City, be really, mm-hmm. you know, it's yeah, a place oh, yeah. like that yeah. where you got a quarterback. That you, man, you just get to your spot. Quarterback's going to get you the ball. Michael Gallup is going to help Shots someone. Fired. But not shot. I'm just saying, for, for, I'm just saying oh for what he is right yeah, now, absolutely. he's not going to be here. Yeah. But if I'm him, I go to a place like that. No, I'm talking about the quarterback. I mean, you got you definitely got a guy like Mahomes that can get it done for I sure. Mean, if Mahomes can go out there and win with them dudes, Michael Gallup it would be an upgrade. They signed they sign, uh, Hollywood Brown. But I'm just saying a guy like that, that's you may have to take a lower contract because of their salary cap, but there's a place to go. He, he, he can help somebody. Mm-hmm. I mean, for him, it's all about the right team, man. It's all about the right team. All right, you got your Jordans up here. All right, what you got? Hey, oh, no, no, I just, you know, clean, my boy bro. D-Mac took care of me, man. Oh, he took care of you, Yeah, man. D-Mac took care that's of me, man. I appreciate crazy, you, man. Yeah, that's, that's, good looking out. That's man. crazy blood, right there, blood, man. man. No, nothing blood about this. No, yeah. it's, it's just, just blood, no, yeah, absolutely yeah, not. Nah, it's just red, homie. Ain't nothing like that. He's going to have waves in the bandana on. Hey, can't wait, can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Hey, man. Thug hey, life. Wait till I get hooked up. That's all right, man. Hey, all right. Wait till I go to Turkey. Wait till I go to Turkey. Wait till I go to Turkey. Don't you worry about it. Do rag, man. Do rag. Hell yeah, man. man. Hey, I bet that's Play with me if you want to. Wave check, dog. Oh, Y'all don't say nothing about Prime. Pretty good Prime. Maybe we got waves to come on. Man, man. Dude, take that I don't know Prime personally, but if he was sitting here, I would have said. That's <laughs> 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 Get them side eyes. Yeah. 
Uh, what y'all said today, man, it sounded like it's going to be a rebuild. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> said that, Terry. What are you talking about? I'm just going by what I'm hearing, man. That's what, that's what I'm hearing. It's going to be a rebuild so, so this what, year, So what's your record, your, your prediction right now sitting here in mid-March? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't say that. Don't, don't say it. Don't, <laughs> don't, do, don't do it, Barry. Don't do it, Barry. Don't do it, Barry. Because, hey, we're going hey, we to hold you to it. I'm just saying, from what y'all tell me, that's what it, that's what it no. sound like to me. All right, uh, Gentlemen, this was fun. Yeah, it was a good it was time. Fun. It was fun. We'll Wish see what happens with the Cowboys, uh, what they do next. By the way, Dak Prescott owed $5 million, so that turns into a signing bonus. It gives the Cowboys like $4 million on the salary cap, so they should get about eight. So, you know, so maybe they maybe they upgrade to, you know, TJ Maxx. And go to <laughs> <laughs> I like TJ Maxx. They off the clears right now. Spend, spend a lot of money, TJ Maxx. They're in, the middle of, they're in the middle of the store. Burlington Coat Factory. Hey, I, hey. Burlington Coat Factory used to be the spot. 40%, yeah, yeah. 40 you know, yeah, yeah. off those retail prices. So, hey, look, I had Look at Barry. Barry don't know nothing about that. Uh, Burlington had the FUBU back in the day, man. Yeah. They had it all. Back back what? What? <laughs> He, Yo, that was back in Toledo he shopped, days. He shopped at Rhodes to come back and boo boo. Hello, what's going on? Back in the day. Hello, what's going on? Back in the day. Was it at least she... platinum boo boo? <laughs> On the head of Fat Albert, Fat Albert, Fubu, Fat Albert, Fubu had the boys on the back, O five on the front. Had the red bandana on. Must not had the hat low. Like it was real. Oh my god! They have a brother in Toledo. They ain't had one in Toledo. Heck, Harrison, thank you. Mary Church, so much fun when you come back. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. We love to see you next week. It was a gift. You tried to get out today. Las I'll be at Las Colinas tomorrow. Anybody want to join me? Las Colinas. I'm Newey Scruggs. Thanks to Chris Beam, Jazz, Josh, and everybody else. Players Lounge. Talk to you next Barely week right here on DallasCowboys.com. <laughs> this has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!